Hi guys, Heather here. Is everyone as excited about Thanksgiving as I am? Well, if you like to eat, I'm sure you're pretty excited. Can I eat a whole pumpkin pie by myself? Probably wouldn't be a good idea, so I'll just eat half instead. But if you object to this being the best meal ever, then put your comment in the comment section below and tell me what your favorite meal is. Or keep it to yourself, whatever you prefer. But just put it in the comment section below. Today we're gonna go to the wonderful world of heart block. Heart block is so confusing, but I want all of you to get an A on your EKG test. Because when I was in nursing school, I was like, what the heck is the difference between first and second degree heart block, second degree type one and two, and third degree? It's so confusing, and some of you probably know what I'm talking about, right? First, we have first degree heart block, and many people live with this and they're okay. It just means that the electrical impulse conducting through the atria to the ventricles takes a little bit longer. And here's what it looks like. Second degree heart block is when one or more of the atrial impulses fail to conduct to the ventricles. Second degree type 1 is Mobitz 1 or Winkebach. And this is where the PR interval with every beat will lengthen until it drops the QRS complex. Second degree type 2 is also known as Mobitz type 2. And this is where there are several P waves without QRS complexes. This could possibly turn into third degree heart block. So a pacemaker is greatly considered. And lastly, whew, that is a lot of information. Third degree or complete heart block. And this is where the P waves and the QRS complexes have no relation and they're like wandering around aimlessly. Like they don't know where to go. Like when you're in the parking lot and you're trying to find your car and you're like wandering around wondering where it is. It's kind of like that. And in this condition, they'll definitely need a pacemaker or they're gonna have cardiac arrest. Well guys, that's it for heart block. It was kind of interesting, right? Well, maybe not too interesting, but you'll need to know it for your EKG test, so good luck on the future when you take your test, and everyone have a happy Thanksgiving, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Bye!